are at Legoland, Florida. Um, I'm having a good time. This park is really cute. It's my first time at a Legoland. I just had one open near me in New York for like, it's like three hours away. So we're about to ride Coaster Stars. I wonder if he's a Coaster Stars. It's growling. So we rode Coaster Stories. Um, it felt kind of like, we said it felt like Kingdom Coaster at Dutch Wonderland, it's sort of. More like that than like Wacky Taxi or something. Yeah, even though it's like that Martin Belmanic, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Like manufacturer that's supposedly like Gravity Group or like related in a sense. It doesn't really feel like a Kentucky Flyer or like a Wacky Taxi. But it's fun, fun for the kitties. I enjoy it. Good ride. It's a shooting dark ride, just like blue blasters, and the theming's really nice. Everything works. I'm not used to that. She lost by 30,000. I don't want to talk about it. Lizard. Also, this is flying is aerial chase, but blue or kitty hawk. You have, also to go, blue. you have to go. You have to go through a metal detector to get on it. Yeah, I don't know if that was real or not, but um, that was something. Also, note to whoever is visiting, they have like a really strict no loose article policy, so everything has got to be out of your pockets. Your bags have to be on the other side of the platform, so keep in mind. But we've ridden all the three roller coasters very quickly. Um, there is another one. It's the Lego VR race. It's a wild mouse, but that's not open right now. So, oh well. Also, keep in mind it is a little pricey to get into here. But as we learned after the fact that you can get in here for free for one hour by using their shopping pass, you buy a full price ticket as sort of a deposit and then you are allowed to enter the park for one hour to shop for lego stuff you can also use that hour to ride something if you like it's actually 11 right now so, so we rode the three open coasters in an hour and another ride it's possible but you won't really get to enjoy the park if it is your first time here i don't feel like but if you're into saving money just remember <laughs> You're doing the most. Get it. Press the button. You know you want to.
It always makes me drive these things. I always have to drive for real. No. <laughs> now we're gonna have to. <laughs> I just wanted to ride these. It's moose on the loose. It's literally moose on the loose. Or the black bears at Dollywood, but. Came. Circle. 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 We had a lot more fun at this place than we thought we would, considering we're full grown adults in their early 20s. I really like Legos now. I have a new appreciation for them. He collects them, he has no say. Anywho. It's an uh, expensive it place. Yeah, it's expensive, and but. One coach for this place, it kind of sucks, but. I think the experience is worth it. Like, there's the theme park, there's the gardens, there's that entire mini land, there's Lego experiences. Um, My verdict is if you're into it, into Legos, or you just want, like, nice place to bring the kitties. From two childless adults. Say okay, bye. Jesus.